O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Praise and thanks to God. This morning prayer devotion is for Monday, February 19th, and over the course of the week, going to take a look at uh, four penitential psalms. Um, so we discussed Psalm 51 on Ash Wednesday, and so we'll we'll take four more of the seven penitential psalms um, this week. So I'm just going to read for you Psalm 6 and then a few comments. This is a psalm of David. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Among the dead, no one proclaims your name who praises you from the grave. I am worn out from my groaning. All night long I flood my bed with weeping and drench my couch with tears. My eyes grow weak with sorrow. They fail me because of all my foes. Away from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord, he accepts my prayer. All my enemies will be overwhelmed with shame and anguish. They will turn back and suddenly be put to shame. The first thing I would do is speak historically that uh, the seven penitential psalms have been used in the church uh, for nearly a thousand years, and especially then um, associated with the season of Lent, especially then associated with um, times of confession, especially then times of deep distress and sorrow. So that's historically, but I would like to speak to you um, this morning um, pastorally. When you hear David cry out, do not rebuke or discipline, have mercy, my bones in agony, my soul in deep anguish, how long, Lord, how long? Are there times in your life that you can readily identify with those words? There's an old Lutheran pastor that makes the point that the lament that comes out in Psalm chapter 6 is a lament that can be made because of your past praise of God and your future praise of God. That is 
you know where you've been with this Lord and you know where he's taking you. And you can look back to times of praise and the times that elicited such praise and, and you have his promise, sure and certain in Christ Jesus, for what is coming for you in the future. And so when these times come, when these times of agony and groaning and flooding your bed with tears and drenching your sleeping couch with tears, when your eyes are so sorrowful they, they cannot open, when your foes are after you, when those times come, this psalm is not a psalm of despair. Despair does not recognize who Christ is is and who Christ will be for you. Listen to how David ends this psalm. The Lord has heard my cry for weeping. He's heard my cry for mercy. He accepts my prayers. My enemies will be overwhelmed. This is no uh, moan of despair. This is also a cry of victory. We know um, we know where our sin takes us. That's the lament. And it's a good lament. And it's a godly lament. Because you know your prayer is heard. You have a Lord who delights in showing mercy. You have a Lord who is kind and compassionate, slow to anger, abounding in love. He does not treat you as your sins deserve. His ears are open to your cries for mercy, and they are attentive to your needs. He delights in hearing your prayer, as he delighted in hearing David's prayer. If that time of affliction is now, this is a psalm for you. If that time of affliction is past, or if it's coming down the road, this, this psalm is for you. An overarching thought with Psalm 6 and any of the penitential psalms is don't be alone with it. Don't be alone with your grief. Don't be alone with your sin. Don't be alone with the things that cause you to cry out in agony. Your Lord's ears are open. So are your pastor's ears. So are the ears of your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. This is what the Lord does. He hears your cry for mercy. He accepts your prayer. And he delights in showing that to you. In the holy name of Jesus. Amen. A prayer for Psalm 6. Lord, when our sins overwhelm us, help us to turn to you, who truly bore the weight of them all. Because you endured God's anger, assure us that the debt of our sin has been paid in full. Hear us because of your tender mercy. So the devil dare not accuse us, but must flee in shame. For you live and rule with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power, and grant that this day we neither fall into sin, nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.